Turn on your side is in Florida, where plenty of people are still not back in their homes after Hurricane Irma blew through. Tonight, we meet a woman who is lucky. Her neighbor came to the rescue after a tree went through her home. But long term, getting life back together will be a rough time. Our Jason Marks is live in Plant City, Florida, with her story. Jason? Yeah, I need a lucky to be alive, but the pain is just beginning. As you can see, this water oak tree fell onto the woman's home and destroyed everything she owns. It was really frightening. For the past 40 years, Sherry Bickhart has sat in the same chair in her Plant City home. She was right here Sunday night as Irma moved through. The next thing I know is there's a big gust of wind and all of a sudden the wall comes crashing in on me. Big Cart was trapped. Quickly called her neighbor, Christina Peters. First thing I saw, because uh, it was dark out, it was the tree. The tree toppled, smashing her car, piercing her mobile home, almost taking out her in the process. When I see that, I'm more terrified than I was that night, because that's usually where I sleep. Peters, a former Marine captain, crawled around in the dark, avoiding the wind, downpour, and branches to get Sherry to safety. It could have been a lot worse. Yeah, and I'm very thankful that she's okay. Hi. Hi. Bickard and her best friend, her 50-year-old parrot named Sammy, are staying with Peters, but the tree has left her crushed. Because I'm not sure where I'm going to go from here. With no insurance, she doesn't know what to do next, doesn't have a place to turn. My plan is to live here until the day I die. She survived the storm and says she'll survive this setback too. Neighbors will make sure of that. I think this is the time when we need to be there for her. And we've heard similar stories in Hampton Roads whenever we have a disaster, a hurricane come through. It seems like the neighbors in the community want to pitch in and help get that person, the victim, back on their feet. Neighbors here doing the same thing. They had a GoFundMe page that was just created in hopes of raising enough money to get this tree off the home and then helping to re re ensure that that home is livable for Sherry Bickard. If you want to find out more information, go to wavy.com. That's the latest here in Florida. Jason Marks, now back to you.